Hello everyone. Hello. Great, great to have you all here today. Um, I'm Holly Gibbs. I'm a research scientist at the Center for Sustainability and the Global Environment at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And I'm here in Bali as a science advisor to the Papua New Guinea delegation. Later today, a, re a report I wrote will be published in a scientific journal, Environmental Research Letters. And in this report, I provide national level forest carbon stock estimates for every single tropical country, along with my co-authors from Windrock International and Carbon Conservation. Here, I'll go ahead and provide some of these carbon numbers, but the most important thing to remember is that these estimates exist, that right now today, we have national level forest carbon estimates for all tropical countries. Here in Indonesia, for example, forests store more than 25 billion tons of carbon. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, forests store more than 35 billion tons of carbon. Brazil, with the largest area of intact tropical rainforest, stores on the order of 80 billion tons of carbon. In fact, across all the tropical forests, we're storing more than 300 billion tons of carbon. This is a huge amount of carbon that's critical to protect. And again, these estimates that I'm providing are just a starting point. But they're critical because they allow countries to have financial resources mobilized so they can start investing in their forests now, today. And once there's additional money available, then these estimates can be refined using well-established, readily available estimates, readily available methods to estimate forest carbon stocks that are well within the reach of developing countries.